Hey, welcome to my second dividend video. Um, this is not financial advice, just what I've done with my current stocks. Sitting at a 12.26 dividend yield on $2,300 invested. This dividend yield has gone down from the last video. I'm not sure why. Um, APLE had suspended their dividend stocks or dividend payments for um, four months. And I don't know if that's come back up yet or not. It doesn't say it's come back up here. So I'm not sure what changed. Something might have been reduced. I went over my stock choices on the last video. And this number, I'm not going to represent this number because I bought three shares of Tesla. And they don't pay a dividend. So I'm to, I don't include those into here. Now each of these stocks pay me a dividend each month or every three months. For this month, I purchased five more shares of CLM. That's a CEF or ETF, closed-ended fund. That pays 18 cents per share. It used to be 20 cents per share. I've had it for over three years, and from my research, it seems like a pretty safe stock to invest in. And I bought two more shares of VIAC, uh, that's CBS, uh, with all the sports canceled. Just keeping an eye on that, doesn't seem to be doing too bad. It's been, it's been up and down. Bought five more shares of DX, that's a REIT. And I purchased three more shares of APLE, which is another REIT. They own three hotels. Um, supposedly the dividend payment was supposed to be reinstated. I'm not sure about that. Robinhood shows that it has. So both ET and CEQP are natural gas stocks. And ET has lost over half their revenue. They lost a lot of money during this crisis. And CEQP, uh, they deal with more the um, transportation side of the natural gas. So we're just going to keep a watch on those, see how they do in the winter months here. Now I did purchase three shares of Tesla at $444 when the split happened. Um, at one point back in April, they were down, down at $300. I didn't purchase it then, didn't know too much about them. Um, kept checking on them. Uh, went up to $600. Didn't buy then, went up to $800. I didn't buy then, went up to $2,200. And now I'm kicking myself for not buying it back at $300 or $600 or $800. I thought maybe it would shoot up after this battery announcement, but it did not. It's been going up and down. But it's been staying pretty, it's been staying pretty high. So I'm hoping that it'll go beyond the 444 and I can cash in a little bit on it. So that's what's happening this month. Um, hope you like my videos. Hope it's been informative for you and we'll see what happens next month. Thanks for watching.